And the truth of the matter is we have no COVID-19 cases in Bristol County. And Dan was just speaking about the whole point that when we, uh, when we deal with these protocols, they have to be uh, very strict protocols in place. We've been dealing with them since H1N1, the SARS virus. We, uh, we stopped all visits in our facility uh, a while ago. We don't allow any vendors in. All of our staff have to have their temperature taken before they enter our facility. We, uh, we sanitize all the units at least three times a day, wiping down doorknobs, we, in addition to the spraying of the units. We have uh, medical staff that uh, have the different scenarios in place for protocols and event. We had somebody that did test positive. We have a negative pressure ch chamber that that person would be isolated in. We're only at 56% capacity at our facility and we have plenty of room if we had more than one case to do more isolations, to do more quarantines if we need to. But the fact of the matter is that this judge is allowing people with serious, serious criminal histories to be released under this notion that perhaps they might catch the COVID-19 virus.